All right, so for 3.5, um, this is where we're gonna start talking about where people live. Your residence, what kinds of residence you live in. Um, it was a lot easier when most of the students were in the dorms. Now it's a little bit less, uh, less easy because now we've got most people living at home um, and no one talking to each other. So that makes it a bit more of a challenge. But, oh, you know what, let me get rid of this. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do, the goal of this chapter is to be able to ask someone, do you live in a one thing or another? Okay, whatever it is you live, we're gonna use contrastive structure. And if you remember, that's where we set one thing up on one side and one thing up on the other side and say here or here, and we sign which, right? So it's this one or this one. Now it's not like I'm saying, do you live here or here? Could ask that question. In this case, we're setting up this kind of residence this kind of residence, which it could be three options here, here, and here. Right? So we're using this arbitrary space to represent the topics that we're talking about. Um, another thing we can talk about, is it large or small? We'd use the same thing. Again, is it a big house, small house, big apartment, small apartment, or big apartment, small apartment. Um, uh, new, old, again, same thing. When it's binary, it's really easy to say, oh, new house, old house. Um, and then we get into more other details, color, what it looks like, is it tall, things like that, stuff that isn't easily split into a binary. So, um, so to start with, when I, I put the video that they give explaining what is contrastive structure. So watch this video, it, it, good idea. It's a combination of a little bit of a turn and a little bit of a lean. Boom, 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 boom. Most of the time, contrastive structure is just a little lean to one side or the other. Um, it could also be a turn of this or this or a combination of this and this. Depends on the extreme amount you're talking about, the emphasis, how uh, if it's very formal that you're presenting something, you might do a boom, boom or this. If you're just casual, you might go, <laughs> what is it? Um, so there's lots of flexibility in that. The main thing is I will recommend doing a combination of just turn and turn. So it's a little bit of both so you can feel comfortable and feel like those two things are in your signing space. Here's the vocab. So house, just like when we used to draw houses as little kids, right? house. Do it with the, the B hand shape or a, a flat five. And you don't have to do the, the foundation or the floor. It's just chung, chung. that's it. Apartment is actually fingerspelled, not the whole word, just A P T. And it goes quick, apartment, almost like you're, you've just done a yo yo, apartment. Right? You are not going to see the fingerspelling. Once it's done at speed, all you're going to see is this ba -ba, apartment. Ba -ba. Okay, so this one's going to take some time to practice. So practice it, A, P, T. And what's nice is that it's not a weird finger thing to move. You can go right from A into P, and then the thumb is in place for the T, apartment. Right? So start out slow, bum, 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 A, P, T, A, P, T, A, P, T. And eventually you'll get to the point where it's just snap and it's done. Apartment, dorm. Dorm is very similar to the sign for home. So we know house, home is where you eat and where you sleep. So home, home, and you, it's, it's like, I don't know, duck bill, right? And it goes from, from your chin to your ear, home, where you eat, where you sleep, home. Um, deaf is very similar, mouth and ear, but deaf can go either direction. Okay, so it can be either direction. Home always goes mouth to ear. It's very awkward to do this. I have never seen anybody do it, and if they did, I'd be like, it'd be kind of like a record scratch moment where you're like, whoa, what's wrong? Um, so home, home, homework, homework, remember? Um, dorm 
is with a D. And you use your fingertips. Dorm. So same as home, dorm, home, dorm, home. You wouldn't do the fingertip of your index finger because that's the sign for death. Right? So dorm. dorm, dorm, dorm. Again, it's, it's a D sign. It starts with a D. The hand shape is a D. It's initialized. Um, so sorry, there are some that are going to be very Englishy. Um, we'll know small, large, so-so. There's also medium, kind of like the halfway point, right? You can also, if you're not like exactly half or kind of it's sort of a kind of middle shape, middle size, um, you can go uh, small. All of those work. New and old. New. New is a lot like paper, except the palm is up. I often think about it as hit your knuckles into your palm. Just don't close the fist. New. I'll give you a new house. New. Uh, la, 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 la. Old. Old is the same sign as age. It's like having a beard. Ooh. We talked about which, which, this one or this one. Color. I believe we, we did the sign for color back when we started covering colors early on. Color. Take all five fingers and just wiggle them in front of your face. Color. Generic sign for color or colors. Colorado. Um, like. This is like as in I like something. I like my house. Like. Not like. It could, it's really, you could say, oh, those two are the same, right? But in this case, we're talking about like, oh, I, like. I like your house. I like it very much. I like your house and I want to move into it and live there, right? So that was a weird Italian accent. Never mind. Um, so like, don't like, ugh, I don't like it. So peel it off and peel off that lint and throw it away. Discard it. Don't like. Fine. This is like, oh, I'm okay with that. Or, oh, it's fine. It's fine. No, 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 no. Fine, 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 fine. Fine, fine, fine. Just thumb, nail touches your skirt. Fine. The tip. So, so it's sort of. Uh, it's kind of big. It's kind of small. It's kind of old. It's kind of new. Okay. Don't finger spell the whole word. Just okay. Okay, okay. Sometimes you'll see it repeated. Okay, 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 okay. And again, it happens quickly. It's not finger spelled. Okay. It's oh, okay. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Detest. So we, we already know don't like. Detest. And you can do it one handed, but it's ugh. throw up on. Ugh. I vomit on. Your house. I don't like. Vomit on it. Good. And I should have put old with, with new. Anyway, old, old. If you wiggle it like this, it means really old. Old. Whoo. That teacher is old. Okay. So then there are two conversations. And in the worksheets, we'll talk up, we have questions for them. I included the gloss, which is basically the signs they're signing. Because I figured it'd be handy if there's something you don't know or want to review, you can just reflect, look back and forth from this. Um, it's written all in caps because it's a representation of the signs. It's not the actual word for word uh, meaning and follows the ASL grammar, not the English. So here we go. And technically, it's not a smaller house. It's 
probably just farther away. But <laughs> they should have just put a picture of this similar house, but one floor, one set of windows. That would have made sense. Same house, just farther away. But for the sake of argument, imagine that it's for significantly smaller people. I don't know. So. How you sign house will also reflect the size, or should also reflect the size. So I'm saying, notice how I sign house, big. You can say, big house, or you can say. So we put the adjectives right in how we sign the noun. Uh, we'll put the adverb in how we sign the verb. So they will affect each other. Uh, it's kind of like if you've taken a creative writing course, a lot of times they will tell you, don't use the word very. Pick an English word that means very large, as opposed to it was very large. What's another word for very? It was gargantuan. Because it makes more sense, right? It's more specific. Very large is very generic. Because, I don't know, um, it's just better writing. So it's better signing if you don't sign. You go monotonous on that, right? That's a monotone. So one of those tiny houses, right? So then we have the, this is kind of like half. It could be, you think it's a good thing or it's kind of small, it's sort of small. It's kind of big for her all alone. My mom can't take care of the hop, right? So that can color how you sign things. Right, zero to five. And sort of old, sort of new, sort of borrowed, sort of new. So now we're here. So how do you ask, do you live in pick two? Color, right? Color what? Mm. Now I'm just drawing in the air, like the windows, the doors. What color? Green. Ugly. You like green? No. Same. Same. I don't like. So it's a start of a conversation. Think about where you live. And I just stubbed my toe. Think about where you live and what it looks like. And how would you describe it? Especially since we're on Zoom, no one's seeing the outside of anybody's house. Unless they're stalkerish and drive past, which is creepy. Please don't do that. Um, so then I included three mini dialogues from the book. And a couple of questions for each. Um, so they will go through and talk. David's going to ask, uh, he uses contrastive structure with two questions. I want you to specifically look for them and make sure you can talk about what they are. Um, and they talk about Dale. What do they talk about? So obviously it has something to do with the chapter. They're not going to talk about um, what pets he has. We haven't gotten to those. Next one. Oh, I have to change the videos. These are all mini <laughs> dialogue one. Um, note to self. Okay. Um, so just watch the three, answer the questions. Uh, they both have to do with here are two sets of contrastive structure and then some general information summarized. What that does is that's asking you to take the ASL and put it into English and some and the grammar is going to change the order might change just 
starting you on that process of that translation and that transition. So again, we come to the vocab and then I put all the videos together. So that, again, unit 3.5, pretty short one. 